Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 uh, 23 and another part of our playthrough of Breaking Point 2. Um, it's been intense. Obviously, Devin Butler's retired. We're trying to get Cali Mayer into the team. Let's see where this story goes. On to Chapter 12, I believe. So here we go. Right, we've got some uh, stuff hey, for Casper. Aiden has been approached to help promote an F1 sim racing event. Uh, he's agreed to take part without consulting us first. Uh, should we let him attend? Yes, it's annoying he didn't talk. It's not ideal, but let's see if we can agree for him to attend over video. He can keep his commitments. Mm. No, let's uh, agree to that. That's fine by me. Okay, Why here we go. Hesitating? You've always dreamt of racing in F1. Not like this. Do you know what he did? Oh, your father? He refused to support me. Said he'd only fund one of his children. Said Devon had better prospects. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Mum used the divorce settlement to help me out, but... And you're only here because he sent you. No. This was my idea, my decision. And this is me asking you, Callie, not your father. We need a replacement and ask for you because I know how good you are. And that's the truth. I always said I'd do it on my terms, not his. I'll look out for you, just like I did in F2. Will you keep him away from me? I'll do everything in my power, everything, to make sure that all you have to think about is driving. Have we got a deal? You might never get this opportunity again. You know that. Okay, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix several weeks later with current F2 champion now on board, Kasper and their team at Connorsport hope that stability on the roster will help garner the results needed to keep pace in the competitive midfield of the F1 grid. Okay, here we are back with Kasper again. Could you take a look at this please? One of our sponsors has unexpectedly paid a bonus. There are a number of ways we can use this money. The question is, where should we invest it? I think team. Yeah, let's go team. Okay, let's look at news. Davidov. They stopped me entering the garage. Just because Callie's in there. It's ridiculous. We've had this conversation. You need to give her space. I'll humor you for now, but I don't like being told where I can and can't go around here. Don't forget, you talked me into this. What does that mean? Talked you into what? Signing Callie in the first place. I'm just allowing you to take credit for it, that's all. Yeah, it sounds like you're trying to blame me. Well, if you're right about it, there'll be no blame to allocate, will there? Anything else? You're a busy man. I'll let you go. Okay, hey Casper, just want to follow on from our meeting yesterday. We've had another 14 individual requests for interview with Carly. Uh, it looks like everyone's desperate for their own take. In all my years in PR, I've never seen anything like it. I've communicated to the rest of my team your concerns about protecting Carly from as much of this as we can while managing our mandatory commitment. Hey, honey, couldn't uh, get through on the phone, so listen, despite my best efforts to, or not to, I'm meeting up with Evelyn for lunch. Turns out she can be pretty convincing when she wants to be like mother, like daughter, I guess. Uh, I just read the trackside interview. By the way, I don't know what you were so worried about. You came across really well, although come to think of it, it was my idea for you to mentor her in the first place. I should really be interviewing me. Or wasn't it, uh, should I say. Uh, headline could be something like Zoe Ackerman is quietly changing the face of F1. What do you think? 
I'll suggest it to Evelyn when we meet. Maybe she'll have thoughts. That's a wrap. Casper, a big thank you from all of us as Long Shard Productions for your help with shooting. Filming continues elsewhere for us, but that's a wrap from your side. Please pass on the best to everyone at Connor Sport. And a big thank you to Andrea for agreeing to do it in the first place. It's a great way uh, that we've been able to work together. Do please emphasise how sorry we are to Davidoff for dropping that lamp on his foot. <laughs> <laughs> it can get pretty crowded uh, on set sometimes. I hope he understands. We can't wait for you to see the film. We'll sort you out. Tickets for the premiere would be uh, great to have you there. Uh, Mark Priestley, weekend preview. Hey, boss. So Kelly's first race is finally here. The team ha in the garage. Can't wait to see what she can do with the car. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at the weekend preview. There you go, Max Verstappen leading the way. Let's get into the race. Here we go. Another department event. Hey, we need your input. The filming for the latest throttle zone was a success in the early buzz. Has certainly paid off. We've already been receiving media requests to speak to Aiden closer to the film's schedule release date. So I wonder, had we picked Devon um, to do that, whether he'd have had to pull out? Hmm, interesting. So, race day with the world watching, Callie looks to make history as she approaches her first start behind the wheel of an F1 car. History is made here today as Callie Mayer, Connor Sports' latest signing, becomes the first female driver of the modern era to participate in an F1 race. What a moment. I've got goosebumps. Now, for those of you wondering at home, only a handful of women have entered at least one Grand Prix over the years, but none have even had the opportunity to qualify since 1992. Italy's Giovanna Amati, for those of you wondering. So today is very much a new dawn here in Baku. And Maya was impressive in qualifying. So let's see what the Grand Prix has in store for her. Yeah, I have to say, it is quite a tight-knit pack out there. Fierce competition all round. I really wouldn't want to call this one. Indeed. We've seen some brilliant driving here today, especially from young Callie Mayer. She seems to have made the transition to F1 as if she was born for it. OK, here we go then. Whereabouts are we? Catch up to Jackson before lap eight. OK, Kelly, really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet. So we're on lap five of this Grand Prix. And Aiden only a couple of places uh, ahead of us. Let's use overtake and burn off some of this energy. Oh, well, we nearly went into the back of the Alpha Tauri there, but we are through. Thank the Lord for that. And now we got Norris just ahead of us, then uh, Aiden Jackson just ahead of him. Absolutely a chance on Lando Norris as we dive down the inside and we are through just about. That's pretty close. Oh, this is a great run on Yuki Sonoda. Don't think it's wise to. Have a go at him down into here. But hopefully we can get a nice run down the kilometre straight. OK, yeah. gap to the car behind. Car behind. One with five seconds. And we are through. Don't think we're going to get DRS here. So it's going to be Sonora having a look to try and get back 
through here. Oh! Feels like we've been pushed along the straight there. Oh, a little bit of damage. That's not good. Finishing the top ten. I thought he was letting me through. Yeah, I know, Kelly. I'm sorry about that, but it's happened now. It's over. Let's get your head down and focus. Come on, we'll talk about it later. Have we still got our? Yeah, we've still got our bad front wing. Hopefully, we'll be okay. Got a chance on Ocon almost immediately. Wow, that was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. Well, already in the slipstream of Esteban Ocon. DRS enabled. And we are through. We're increasing our gap on the car. Okay, well, we've managed to catch up to George Russell. It's been a, a great performance to be able to do this with a, a damaged front wing, but job's not done yet. Need to get past George Russell on this start, finish straight. And here we go. We got an excellent run. DRS enabled, and we are into the top ten. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. That's exactly what we needed. Very, very good. And now we've got Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez not far ahead of us. Chance to get into the top eight. This has been by far the toughest challenge so far. This is a chance to go down the inside of Lance Stroll. And we are through. That was an excellent manoeuvre. And now what a great chance we've got. Well, Charles Leclerc has won on the final lap of this race. And now right behind Sergio Perez. Need to have a great run up to the finish line now. Going to have DRS. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Check and flag. Only ninth place. Don't get the bonus this time. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Well, in spite of the drama amongst those at the top of the standings, so much of the discussion today has centred around Connor Sport. Absolutely. A bittersweet race for them today. One historic debut, one DNF. I mean, you couldn't write it. And talking of that debut, what did you make of Callie Mayer's first ever start? Well, I am so excited to see Callie racing in F1. It is great for the sport. She is a phenomenal talent. I can't wait to see what the season holds and her career as a whole. And if today is anything to go by, the name Callie Mayer is one that we'll be watching with a lot of interest for many years to come. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Okay, post race, not an ideal start. A misunderstanding between the new teammates forces Aiden to retire from the race. And do you feel extra pressure at Connor Sport? It must be difficult with your dad looking over your shoulder. 
look, it's F1. It's not possible for me to feel any more pressure than I already do. So no, it's not an issue. Kelly, have you felt any pushback from anyone in the F1 world, just with you being the first female driver in the sport? No, everyone's been amazing. And I'm not the first, I'm just the latest. How's your brother? Are you really just keeping his seat warm? Uh, you'd have to ask him that, um, but he is getting the help that he needs. And no, I have no intention of giving up this seat. What happened out there between you and Aiden today? Uh, it's just a mix-up. Um, I, I thought he was letting me through on the entry, but he clearly had other ideas. We spoke to him earlier, and he said he was deliberate on your part. Any comment on that? Uh, it was just a misunderstanding. You've always gone by mayor, and now you're in a team financed by your father, driving in your brother's seat. Would you go back to the butler name? Should have expected it, right? I thought you did. That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm a woman. I get it. I'm happy to talk about it. Then what is it? Well, it's always the same, isn't it? So you're a woman, and then every question about Dad, about Devon, about the butler, name. Just forget about it. Oh, I can never get away from it, can I? The only question about the race was about Aiden. Well, you know, maybe if we'd let it run a little longer, there would have been... Casper? Don't defend them. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. <sighs> Look, it's fine. I'll be faster next time. The incident at Baku, do you think she did it on purpose? She did do it on purpose. Yeah, check the footage. So you didn't warm to her? We weren't the best of friends, no. Oh dear. <laughs> right, the Baku Roundup, the Connor Sport Conundrum. Here's Evelyn. Hey, Mum. Callie, I couldn't be prouder, darling. Well done. Oh, thanks, Mum. It was a good race. Felt great out there. Oh, it was a, a good, good race. Oh, no, what is it? What, what do you mean, what is it? What's what? I can hear it in your voice, Mum. It was a good race. No, it's nothing. Go on. No, no, it's just that... You didn't do it on purpose, did you? <laughs> when you clipped poor Aiden. I can't believe you're even asking me. Did you really raise your daughter to behave like that? Well, I'm really not sure. It was an accident, Mum. I'm, I'm hanging up. Oh, of course it was. Uh, bye, darling. Lots of love. Right, interview requests. The interview requests are still flying in. It's all very encouraging, but we need to figure out how to manage your time. However, one or two people seem to be under the impression your interview was cut short today, which isn't a great look. Let's chat about it this week. Just a quick one. I've got a few media types I could introduce you to that might benefit you in the long run. I presume you'll be home the week of Silverstone. It'd be the perfect opportunity for me to arrange a lunch or two. No pressure. I know you're busy. Let me know. Measurements. We know you had to make do with a few generic fittings today, so thanks for that. All the parts we measured, we, we measured will be ready ahead of the next race. It's important everything's feeling right, and we look forward to making the car as comfortable as possible. Right, perfect. That's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.